fact is she put herself in danger, she put her child in danger, and she put countless other drivers that she shares the roadway with in danger. News 2 captured the scene today as a Williamson County mother left the hospital headed for jail. Franklin police say she was drunk when she got into not one but two wrecks and she wasn't alone. Her five-year-old daughter was strapped into the back seat. News 2's Joseph Pleasant has this exclusive story with an eyewitness in Franklin. Mary Alice Neal was quiet as she left the Williamson Medical Center headed to jail. She spent the night in the hospital after police say she got drunk and was involved in two wrecks with her five-year-old daughter in the car Monday afternoon. It's 1230 in the afternoon and in the middle of one of our busiest shopping districts and it, it really goes to show that that it can happen anywhere and anytime. Franklin police say Neil first crashed into a car here near Mallory Lane and South Springs Drive. This man, Will Call Robert, did not want us to identify him. He was an eyewitness. Uh, the lady beside me pulled over into my lane and almost sideswiped me and realized uh, once I got through the intersection that she actually got T-boned from the passenger side of her car. Then police say Neil drove away. Robert followed in his car, giving police Neil's location as they drove. She uh, pulled into the mall parking lot and we uh, did a full lap around the, the perimeter of the mall. Jumped up under the curb a couple of times. She ran over the stop sign. Police say Neil's wild ride came to an end here near the Cool Springs Galleria, where she rear-ended an 18-wheeler pulling out of this shoe carnival's parking lot. These are pictures of Neil's SUV just after the final wreck. Police found her five-year-old daughter uninjured in the back seat. They also found a half-empty bottle of vodka and two more empty vodka bottles. Witnesses say she appeared to be so drunk she had to be carried from her car. It's a miracle that nobody got, no one else got hurt, or actually no one got hurt in general. A relative picked up Neil's daughter at the scene. Neil is charged with DUI, failure to report a crash, and leaving the scene of a crash. In Franklin, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2. Neil's family had no comment when reached by Nashville's News 2. If convicted of DUI, she faces enhanced sentencing because her daughter was in the vehicle. She could spend a minimum of 30 days in jail and have to pay a $1,000 fine. She remains in the Williamson County Jail tonight.